In a matter of hours, President Trump is expected to board Air Force One after a red carpet send-off, becoming the first U.S. president in more than a century and a half to skip his successor's inauguration. In his farewell video, he did wish the new administration well. He did not mention Biden by name. This week, we inaugurate a new administration and pray for its success. President-elect Biden, who will now take the helm of a nation in crisis, spent the eve of his inauguration honoring the 400,000 American lives lost to COVID-19 as 400 lights illuminated the National Mall. It's hard sometimes to remember, but that's how we heal. And while President Trump does not plan on attending today's inauguration, we do know that Vice President Mike Pence, he is planning on being there, Dave. Yeah, and he'll be missing President Trump's red carpet send-off to be there. And Austin, can you tell us a little more about President Trump's final day in office? Yeah, his final day in office, President Trump issued uh, a long list of commutations and also pardons, including one to his former chief strategist, Steve Bannon, and also to celebrities like Lil Wayne and Kodak Black. In uh, total, there were 143 pardons and commutations issued yesterday by President Trump in his final day in office.